guys happy saturday to you i hope you're having a good day so far i wanted to go ahead and pull a bunch of different decks today just for fun we're gonna go through and get a a fairly good reading just asking a few different decks what is it we need today so the first one we're gonna start with is kyle gray and that's keepers of the light what do we need what do we need what do we need in this full moon energy the harvest moon Oh, Aries, it's all about really getting us, getting us moving, get, going towards what we really want to do. One little foot forward. It can be five minutes each day that you go ahead and try something. And if you do more, wonderful. But if you don't do more than five minutes, you didn't promise more than five. And that just gives you that feeling of that you, that you completed it. And boy, sometimes it works into 20. And that's okay, too. <laughs> All right, so we have Archangel Michael. Trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Archangel Michael. Here we go. Your angel team is with you now. You are not in this alone. You may be feeling sensitive or overwhelmed, but your angels are inviting you to take a step back so that you can come in and share their light of miracles. You may feel that your prayers aren't heard, but that doubt blocks solutions from entering your life. Know that Archangel Michael and his legion of angels are here to help clear anything that's not serving you so that you can allow in the miracles of change that you deserve. I'm just going to Hold space for everybody for a few minutes just to think about what do we need to let go of with this full moon energy. All right, and we're going to move on to the next deck. The Spirit of the spirit messages and that's with john holland take a look caregiver we are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others especially at the end of their lives just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. Very easy to do, especially if you're empathic. Sending out energy to our hearts. We are with you, and Spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received care and love at the start of your life, caregivers often focus all of their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. You have chosen this card in all likelihood because you probably already, already are or have been in a caretaker role or you'll shortly start caring for someone you love. This card is a timely reminder to ensure you don't forget yourself in the process, no matter what type of care is being given, whether it is emotional support or more hands-on. It's easy to let all your energy dissipate, leaving you feel drained, disinterested, or at times feeling down. Remember that we're all made up of energy and that energy is very precious and delicate and needs to be preserved and honored. Take time for yourself. Nurture yourself with self-care, such as a massage, meditation, or walks in nature, allowing your body, mind, and spirit to open and observe, absorb positive and healthy energy so that when you have to return to care mode, you feel healthy, strong, and revitalized. Yes, we just have to fill up our cup sometimes. Um, just take a few minutes, even if you can. Again, just if you can take out a couple minutes and then sometimes it works into longer, but just promise yourself maybe five minutes a day that you would do something that's for yourself. All right, we're going right into the messages from the spirit of nature. 
Messages from the Spirit of Nature. Stephen Farmer. Okay, I love it. Eagle. Vision. Must be missing it. Where is it? Help me out. There we go. <laughs> the vision of an eagle is eight times sharper than that of a human, with its eyes set on either side of its beak. It has the ability to see the broader landscape, yet when there is any movement that could indicate prey, it's able to bring its complete attention sharply into focus. Other characteristics attributed to this magnificent bird are strength, leadership, courage, wisdom, power, freedom, and yet its keen sight, keen eyesight and powers of perception make the eagle's vision stand out as its most important gift. The eagle is simultaneously able to see the big picture, tune out unnecessary elements, and focus on a specific detail as needed. In addition, Related to their ability to fly up to 10,000 feet or more, many Native American cultures view the eagle as a messenger to the creator. Consequently, this bird and its feathers are revered and considered sacred in many indigenous cultures and traditions. You're caught up in too many details of living. Get distracted easily due to the continual bouncing from one thing to the next. While it's necessary to attend to all these details, your habitual, fragmented approach creates tension and anxiety. You feel overwhelmed and victimized by the number of responsibilities before you and have lost perspective on what are the most important. Step back from your tasks for a moment. See the big picture. Pause. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Close your eyes and identify what's truly important that which has heart and meaning. Visualize these various items and how to best approach them. As you come to recognize what's truly significant, great, create an external representation of your goals and intentions with a written list or vision board. Either, either will help you achieve greater perspective and focus. Yes, I love lists and I love vision boards manifesting in what we want but also just what what do we need and what is most important we can always um, have a list but maybe put it out of sight and just know that if you get a couple things done on there great if not we're doing the best we can and we're going to do whatever is most important first what do we what we do is we generally do what we want to do and so you'll notice you know those will be the things that come first. All right, and this is the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms with Colette Baron reed Oh my goodness, they're, they're shuffling themselves. What will help us the most right now? All right, it's upside down, reverse, the Lady of the Mirror. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. And it says reflection and non-judgment. Oh, it's right at the bottom. See, I just ah, went right over it. Okay. So when it's reversed, we read the challenger position. And this one here says ally and challenger. So basically this card, whether it's upside down or not, it's all the same. The lady of the mirror is both ally and challenger asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events in your life. She represents the powerful force of the law of attraction and reminds you that what you are is what you attract. 
This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or if you find yourself a victim of a bigger picture event, say a war. This is a distorted interpretation of the law. Certain events are fated to test our faith. Rather, find yourself within the web woven through your life, your relationships, opportunities, desires, seeming, seeming failures, and successes. Observe how you've responded to life's challenges, great and small, and be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release all judgment and accept things exactly as they are with love. The Lady of the Mirror asks that you honor every part of your story as essential to your highest unfolding. Can you see yourself as being exactly where you need to be on your path? Do you love what you see in the mirror? Can you per perceive your part in your reactions and the motives behind your current inquiry? You'll find your answer in a thorough and honest self-appraisal. Yeah, so it's kind of like that thing I did yesterday, the circle of life. You know, really honoring every part of our life and some of our parts of our life are so um, hard. But it also helps us to learn and then help someone else. And sometimes um, we don't know why things happen. And uh, there's a bigger picture at the end. So it's just a matter of being patient because it always comes around to where we'll, we'll know, you know, what the purpose was. So I think that those are all of them that I pulled for today and I'm going to go ahead and send out a little energy just taking a moment I've been really enjoying helping clients and um, doing um, astrology helping people with their greatest wound the north node all the different things like that if you're interested in that sort of thing you can go into my website I have it $33 for 45 minutes, and um, there's just so many other services I also offer. I love to help people, and so I welcome you to check it out. I'll put it down in the description box below. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll be back again tomorrow.